Activated carbon is a generic term for a family of highly porous carbonaceous materials that cannot be defined by a structural formula or by chemical analysis. In other words, a piece of carbon with millions of tiny interlocking holes, called pores, is called activated carbon. Under a microscope, activated carbon looks like a sponge. The millions of tiny interlocking holes occupy space within the carbon and thus activated carbon has a very high internal surface area. Typical activated carbons used in the carbon in pulp, CIP, and carbon in leach, CIL, processes have surface areas of about 1,000 square meters per g, i.e. 1 gram of activated carbon, the amount of which will occupy the same space as the end of a person's thumb, has the same surface area as two football fields. Once the ground leached ore and slimes have settled in the agitation tank the pregnant leach can be vacuumed off the top resulting in a leach that still needs some filtering. Carbon can be used in pulp or in clean leach. In this case, we, we are using cocoa carbon in a recirculating leach stream. We are using a homemade carbon cartridge that is made from 1 inch clear PVC pipe. A small fountain pump is used to run the pregnant leach through the coconut carbon. To filter the leach we use fiberglass wall insulation. Be sure to replace it before it becomes completely clogged. We now make our own stackable fiberglass filters from Home Depot buckets that can be changed in a few seconds. Stackable filters make clarifying the leach much easier. In this leach, we used EcoGoldex. It is a relatively safe leach that works on the high side of the pH spectrum. Some people even call it a cyanide substitute. The manufacturer even says it works better than cyanide. We have tested it and have found that with a fine grind, heat, agitation, and the addition of an oxidizer, it works fast. EcoGoldex has a cutoff point just below copper. That means that it is like later leach only metals lower than copper on the reactivity chart. This is very important to us because of the very high iron content in our concentrated ore. Our ore is basically gold-rich black sand. Once the pregnant leach has been clarified it's ready to run through activated carbon. Activated carbon can collect 3-4% to of its weight in gold from a clear leach. If you put 100 grams of carbon in a fully saturated leach it could be possible to collect 3 to 4 grams of gold. Once your gold is in the activated carbon you're certainly going to want to get it out. There are several ways to do this. One is to completely burn the carbon and smelt what is left into a gold bead. I have seen a video of this but I suspect there is a significant loss due to volatization. There is another way that is not likely to incur the loss of volatization. You can use warm aqua regia to dissolve the gold out of the carbon and then reuse the carbon on your next leach. A portion of the gold will stay in the carbon but repeated washing with fresh aqua regia will get most of it. There are many other types of activated carbon but for gold recovery most refiners use coconut carbon. Many water filter systems have some sort of a carbon filter in them. Even distilleries that make spirits use activated carbon to take the bad taste out of their products. The heart of any CIP or CIL plant is the activated carbon as it is the activated carbon itself that adsorbs the gold. Activated carbon itself will have an effect on gold recovery. Activated carbon can be manufactured from a variety of raw materials, which define the structure, i.e. pore size distribution, hardness, etc., of activated carbon. The manufacturing process will also have an effect on the properties of activated carbon. Thus, there are a multitude of factors that will affect the properties of carbon. Since an activated carbon can be tailor-made to suit certain applications, the factors most important for the specific application will determine the most suitable activated carbon. For gold recovery in CIP and CIL applications, these factors are hardness, kinetic activity, equilibrium loading, elutability, particle size characteristics, and density. Activated carbon made from coconut shells is the most common type carbon used in CIP or CIL plants. Carbon Indiana pulp, CIP, activated carbon is added directly to the pulp, cyanated or slurry. Crushed, ground and leached pulp is mixed with activated carbon, which flows countercurrent to the pulp in a series of semi-batch adsorbers. Because of carbon's hardness, it exhibits low attrition during movement, agitation, and activation. The high adsorption rate and capacity of carbon permits gold recoveries as high as 98%. Carbon Indiana leach, CIL, activated carbon is added directly to the vessels in which the cyanidation process is taking place. 
Adsorption with carbon can result in recoveries of 97-98% to of the gold compared to a 50% recovery rate with conventional cyanidation techniques. Naturally present carbon competes with the activated carbon for the gold. Therefore, after oxygenation, the cyanidation process is carried out simultaneously as activated carbon is brought into contact with or in the mixers. The superior initial adsorption rate of the carbo minimizes interference with gold recovery associated with preg robbers in the ore and thereby results in improved leaching efficiency. Carbon Indiana Column, CIC, appropriate for cases where gold is already in solution, such as with runoff, soluble gold in a water source, overflow, return water from a tailings dam, etc. Activated carbon columns in series or parallel flow mode are used to collect gold using packed beds or a fluidized bed. Packed beds can achieve gold recovery efficiencies greater than 95%. Efficiencies of 50 to 70% per stage are noted with fluidized beds. The process for cyanidation and leaching with EcoGold X are the same and we are using the terms interchangeably. If you're interested in learning more about this I recommend joining the Gold Refiners Forum. You can also look at the 911 mining site, also look at the PDF on activated carbon that Chemex has on its site. But the best source of info for you might be the information you can get from Hard Rock University. It is a live stream every Monday at 6pm Mountain Time on YouTube. There are many ways to put gold into solution and many more to get them out. Carbon allows you to do both at the same time. We like using a alkaline leach as it does not pick up as many trash metals in the leach making it somewhat selective for precious metals. This is very important when it's time to collect your gold from a leach. There are other collectors and precipitants that can be used in place of carbon, like resin, copper and zinc. All have advantages and disadvantages. Thank you for watching. There are many more videos on this topic to come.